Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for June 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, along with the readings that I offer. So just read through that. Tell me which one you'd like to move forward with and we will get moving. If you do have trouble deciding, don't worry, still email me. We'll chat a little bit about it and then I will help you decide. Yeah. So um, energy is fluid. Time is an illusion. So as with all of my readings, this is no different. This reading is meant to be timeless. Yes. So whenever you stumble upon it or whenever it resonates for you, that's when it is valid for you or that's when you need to hear the message. Yes. Excellent. Um, let's see. So keeping true to form, I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot for the freestyle reading. If you're interested in getting a reading with me and you're new to my channel, welcome, but you're about to get a look into the flow of the freestyle reading. You won't be able to see the spread because I like to have a face-to-face -face conversation when I'm doing these monthly uh, general readings. But with your private reading, if you do would like to move forward with one, focus will be on the cards. So during your reading, you'll be able to see the cards. You can't right now, but right now you're about to get an, an introduction to the flow of the reading. Yeah. Um, so I'm starting with the Golden Universal Tarot for the, for the uh, freestyle spread. And then instead of, um, well, I'm still keeping with the Oracle Guidance at the end, but I decided to go with a brand new deck and we have the Sacred Rebels Tarot. Uh, I'm not, wow, Sacred Rebels Oracle, yeah? I love this deck, it's beautiful. And the messages that have been coming out lately for the readings this month have been so on point, it's kinda scary. Um, just keep in mind that, you know, these can be a little long-winded, but I am gonna be reading the whole thing because the message is valid. Okay, Pisces, uh, let's just get straight into it. I have a little bit of a pre-shuffle here for you. Um, so, the message, either what you're going through in the month of June, is a healing or reconciliatory energy. That's kind of what I'm feeling and picking up on, but it's mostly reconciling within. Um, now, this is either what's happening in your month of June or this is something that's happening in your life at whatever time period it comes through. But the first card that came out for your pre-shuffle is the Five of Cups. Okay, and I was looking at it and at first I was kind of like, oh, well, that's kind of depressing. But then I was like, wait a second. Something about this feels like it... So something really isn't bothering you that much with the five of cups. Um, it was weird. It was like, huh, well, this didn't, it's almost like you're not surprised. Like something let you down. Something was disappointing, but it, but at the same time, you're really not quite surprised. The next cards that came out were the six of pentacles and the eight of wands. And so then I was kind of like, yeah, all right. That makes sense. It seems like you really learned something here. You might have had your hopes up or you were hopeful, somewhat hopeful, about something that you thought may have been coming forward, may have been coming through, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Um, but it doesn't seem to have come through in the way that you expected or maybe even the way that you wanted to. And yet you're still not quite surprised about it because there is a sense of understanding exactly why something has gone or ended up at least at this moment. I'm not saying it's completely over, but at this, like, we'll call this a checkpoint in this situation for you. At this point, you're kind of like, yeah, I know exactly why this is happening because the situation is some was imbalanced somehow. Maybe you were the one that was imbalanced. Maybe you were over giving in the situation, or maybe it was an imbalance from the other person or whoever else was involved in this situation. You may have been doing your part, but yet they still weren't keeping up with I guess you could say their end of the bargain. And it doesn't even have to be that you guys made some sort of conscious verbal or agreement, maybe even a written agreement, but on a soul level, there's some sort of soul contract energy here in which someone is learning the value of give and take. And for you, Pisces, this just feels like a solidification of, of some of the things that you've learned already. Um, there needs to be communication. Maybe there was communication. Maybe there is some sort of communication coming through. But ultimately, if it's not communication, Pisces, you're the one that is kind of really swiftly moving through these energies here, this Five of Cups. Because somehow, it's almost as if you're not surprised or you're really not that bothered by the situation. Whether you've been in this type of situation before and you see clearly why things have developed the way they had, um, or like 
you're starting to understand why things are developing this way. Like for some of you, this is about going through these cycles over and over and slowly starting to realize what is causing things to work out this way if this is a recurring cycle for you. Now, the funny thing about all of this, Pisces, the fact that for some reason I was picking up like you're not really all that bothered by this. Yeah, well, underneath the deck now is the King of Wands. <laughs> Talk about not being bothered. This is a very much nonchalant energy. This is just kind of like, mm, yeah, I just heard picking up where we left off. Um, that's really interesting. I don't really know where that just came from. For some of you, this is a situation in which maybe you got involved with someone from the past in which you knew this was going to happen, mainly because of how things ended up in the past. And now with this King of Wands energy, you're just kind of like, yep, I knew this was coming. And this is an energy of being very confident. Now, for others of you, you understand exactly, you know exactly why all of this is happening right now, especially with the Five of Cups here. And so in there may have been some situation in which, excuse me, three cups have spilled. This could be a social situation. It could be work, potentially. Um, it just feels like it, 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 there's some sort of social fallout. But I don't think you're the one that has to that's feeling the pinch with this fallout here, Pisces, with this King of Wands energy. Again, there is a strong energy of you knowing exactly why this has happened. But now also there's an energy of confidence because for some, for some of you, you know it's not over. Even though it may have taken like a, a nosedive for the moment, you know it's not over because you still have those two cups right there. So maybe this is a situation in which there was a social construct, maybe some sort of friend structure, um, just or some sort of social circle that was kind of toxic, hidden in its toxicity, um, covert in its toxic toxicity, and something about that got revealed. Somehow something has spilled out, okay? But there's still these two cups involved you everything all is not lost pisces and i really feel like you're the one that knows this it doesn't have to be that way this could be the cross watchers energy that i'm picking up on take it as it resonates guys but yeah yeah all right so we're gonna get into this we're gonna see what's coming through for your month of june or whenever this resonates for you all right pisces let's get with it Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of June 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces. So I'm going to give this four shuffles for you. Um, but I'm seeing a light blue color, one, and I'm also seeing purple, two. Now this light blue, it's very similar to the color of this stone here. I don't remember what stone this is, but it's very similar to this stone. It feels like communication, but it also feels like there's a ton of purity here, a lot of innocence. Three, it's almost as if, Pisces, you are keeping your distance from sort of some sort of situation, not completely closing the door here. You're leaving the door open for some form of communication, but you're keeping your distance. And with the purple color here, it's because there's some sort of divine wisdom that you're beginning to understand. Um, and four, beginning to understand, or maybe it's be through this situation that you finally started to understand this um, and so you're not completely closing off, boop, but you are keeping your distance just because like you're wiser, you know better at this point. And so, you know, you're not going to get involved in ways that you may have in the past. Yeah. Coffee. <laughs> okay. Overall energy. We're starting you off with the seven of cups. Um, so there's some sort of emotional baggage that needs to be worked through either on your behalf or on behalf of the other person. Um, but there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of options. I feel kind of like it's interesting because this card lately has been feeling like 
uh, lots of different opinions in a situation. Um, and this is all kind of swirling around you. And this is possibly why you're keeping your distance here because there are a lot of things that are, are a lot of parts or pieces or components to this situation that number one are not your responsibility to handle because you didn't bring them in. It's almost as if they had they were already here before you got into the situation. Number two, you're not trying to make it your problem. It ha it's not yours to deal with. So like you, it's no. There's really nothing you can do about it. I mean, it's out of your control. It does kind of feel like maybe for some of you, you're having trouble handling your end of the situation. Maybe Pisces, you're the one that's gotten yourself wrapped up in too many different situations and now you do have to deal with it. It could go either way. Um, yeah, underneath that though, you do have the nine of pentacles. So this to me is just reaffirming that for the most part here, all of this that you're seeing in the Seven of Cups that's swirling around you really doesn't have anything to do with you because you're standing here in your Nine of Pentacles energies. You're good. You're solid. You're abundant. You're secure. You're independent. You're not trying to... You're, work, you're working on doing you. You're not trying to get what anybody's got, blah, blah, blah. Like, you ain't got time for that. Like, you're sitting pretty here while all this shit swirls around and someone has to scramble to handle it, you know? Underneath that, you have the Three of Cups now. Yeah, see, there is some sort of social setting that's involved here. And then you have the world. You see? You see, Pisces? It's almost as if you're sitting back, minding your own business, is what I just heard, and watching everybody else kind of flounder around you, but then also watching the universe bring these certain situations to a close. Now, this... The world here could also symbolize um, the closing of, the, of certain cycles for you. And so this could be why you're kind of, you have the wisdom gained as to why certain things are going the way they are right now, which is helping you understand what, where your true responsibility lies in this situation. Now, that doesn't mean that you may not be somewhat struggling with handling your, your, what you're responsible for in the situation. Uh, you might some of you may be struggling with that it might also it, it might you might be struggling that with that because it might kind of be new to you in the sense in the way that you're handling it like some of you really may be turning over a new leaf and handling this situation in a radically different way than you may have in the past but it's because you're standing here in this nine of pentacles energies uh, strong independent and confident especially with that king of wands energy that came out before um so now you're really ha able to handle this in a different way. And that is kind of a celebra celebratory energy too, though. Like this Three of Cups here, it does feel like the universe kind of cheering you on because you are seeing all of this stuff around you that, has, that is not your fault. And you're not trying to take it on as your fault. And so the universe kind of like, yeah, good for you. You learned the lesson. Like you're, you're handling this wisely is what I'm hearing, okay? Wow. All right, Pisces. So getting into the, the rest of your reading here, you can look at this as the first half or the second half of your month. I recommend that you don't necessarily look at it that way. Um, because energies are fluid and time is an illusion, I recommend that you just kind of look at this as the first half and the second half of your reading and just let the, ener the energies and the, and the messages just kind of like flow together. Yeah, because I mean, you're no stranger to going with the flow, Pisces. You are a water sign, but whatever <laughs> okay first half of your reading here first set of surrounding energies for you pisces we have the hermit yes pisces this could be virgo you could be dealing with a virgo you could have virgo energy in your chart um deep sense of soul searching soul work inner guidance inner guidance is what's helping you get through this situation I immensely now you may have gone through a, uh, a time period leading up until like the month of June or whenever this message is resonating for you that in which you were in some sort of a hermit mode. You were keeping to yourself. You were working on finding your inner guidance, finding your inner light, working on connecting with uh, uh, or developing a stronger connection with your intuition, with your inner self, your inner light. Um, and now you could be emerging from it. What I really do feel like is this, whatever this time period or whenever this time period was for you, it has really helped you get to this position here. And it's funny because the nine of pentacles is also another, another Virgo energy. So you really could have Virgo in your chart or you could be dealing with a Virgo. But 
being in this hermit mode here has helped you reach this nine of pentacles state where you're not just not even trying to entertain anyone's fuckery or tomfoolery like look i might be as a pisces pisces could be saying look i might be a really compassionate and understanding person and i may have let other people kind of like drag me down into their bullshit before because i was so empathic and empath uh, and like yeah empathic and compassionate and all that shit but not anymore there is nothing I can do about this. You have to sort this out, your, out yourself, period. <laughs> not gonna, ha not, no, no. <laughs> the hermit is coupled with the knight of cups. See, it's funny because you're, st you're still in this open-hearted, compassionate energy, but you're not trying to take over. You're not trying to fix anything for anyone else. That's interesting because what I'm also getting here is that either someone is coming towards you because of your, your, your state of independence, but it could be because of their lack of independence. And it's kind of like they're envious or they want to learn from you maybe. What I'm also seeing with this energy is because of, because of the work, the inner work that you do, now you're more accessible in a way. Even though you may have risen above in a vibrational sense, you're more accessible. I kind of see, yeah, see, I'm seeing you being that person that someone can come to for help, but still you're walking your own path. You're not trying to allow anyone to drag you down or drag you into their mess because it has nothing to do with you. This hermit mode, whether you've just come out of it or you're about to go into it or you're in it now, is helping you open your heart more. But it's so weird because like, it's almost as if it feels like you you think or you feel like because your heart is more open, you should be trying to do more to help people, but that's exactly it. When you're really opening your heart and becoming compassionate and understanding, you're starting to realize, wow, I really can't fix anything for anyone else. They have to be willing to do it themselves. So okay, that's fine. You have to be willing to do it yourself, but I'm still here to help you if you really need it and if there's actually something I can do to help. Wow, Pisces, damn. That's amazing. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. We have, woo, there's the devil. Capricorn energy, potentially. Yeah, there's toxicity in this situation. Maybe some codependency. The devil is coupled with <laughs> the fool. Okay. Wow. This is really interesting, Pisces. I forget who had the devil and the fool together in their reading, but it was as what I, what I remember, it was for the month of June. I really don't remember who it was at this point. Um, but what I was saying was in that reading, they were facing the devil head on. And here, I, what I see for you, Pisces, is you really taking a leap of faith regardless of what your fears, ego, apprehension may say. Although for some of you, I'm picking up, which is, this is completely contradictory to what I was just saying about the situation, but for some of you, maybe this is for the cross watcher. But for some of you, it's almost as if you're just, you're like about to jump right into the devil's arms. For reasons unbeknownst to yourself or myself is what I just heard. But it, maybe you're just diving into the unknown, diving into the abyss. And actually that's not such a bad thing. Um, but it's interesting that it's, that the unknown or the abyss, uh, the abyss is represented by the devil here because maybe there's some sort of fear that you have surrounding it. This is weird. I don't know where this is coming from because now this is completely contradictory to what we were just talking about. But maybe there is a reason why you're jumping or diving into the devil's lair or the devil's playground. It could be... That is part of your life purpose. I am kind of picking up for some of you that for some of you, maybe you're like, you're somewhat of a transmuter. 
or you're just you're just taking a leap of faith in a new di- oh, okay there it is you're taking a leap of faith in a new direction um, that is radically different from what you may have or how you may have handled something in the past which is which is something that I said before um, and the devil is representing your fear or apprehension of the unknown. Um, there could be an energy of some sort of voice. Maybe this is an internal voice or maybe it's something external to you. But some something or someone whispering in your ear, oh, this is never going to work. You, you, you can't do it this way. You're just going to crash and burn. You're leaving people behind you. There could be some energies of like a, a devil in your ear trying to shame you for going in a direction that actually is much better for you because you've done this inner work. Yeah. Okay. All right. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you've got the Hierophant. Yes. Okay. See, this is exactly what I was just talking about. Um, the Hierophant is representing the status quo, establishment, um, established ways of being, society, family structures, societal norms, family norms. Um, but also the Hierophant is being is learning, yes, but it's also being the teacher here. And it's like you're teaching in unconventional ways. That's by going in your own direction. Ooh, you know what I just saw with this with the, the Hermit and the Knight of Cups? You see how the Hermit is going one way and the Knight of Cups is going the other way? That is a representation of at one point you were really pretty naive and way too open-hearted, but now as the, in the Hermit energy, you're going in a completely opposite direction. And that might be contradictory or go against what you are facing or what you know, the norm with the, with the Hierophant here. Woo, Pisces. Well, ultimately, it's a good thing, though. I'm hearing you're beating the system. You're changing the status quo, even if that status quo is just your own personal way of being or your own way of doing things. Mm-hmm. The Hierophant is coupled with, yep, the Knight, I'm sorry, the Six of Wands. I really just feel like you're going against the grain here, Pisces. But it's a good thing. There could be someone around you, or maybe it's you, Pisces. Take it as it resonates. Either this is the Pisces or it's the cross watcher. But there's someone around you that's trying to keep up appearance, that's trying to... It's, it feels like they're clawing at some sort of victory for staying within the status quo, but it doesn't feel like it's working too well, which is why it's here in the challenge section. For others of you... Your challenge is to remain confident and have that self-belief in yourself. Regard <laughs> that was redundant. Self-belief in yourself. <laughs> Regardless of what the establishment may be saying. This is, a, this is a pretty confusing and contradictory energy, Pisces. But that makes sense because you have the Seven of Cups here, which is the very first card of your overall energy. The Seven of Cups represents confusion. And yet it seems like you're handling it well because you're standing in your independence and not allowing the status quo to tear you down. Hmm. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you've got the Knight of Swords. Shit. Someone's charging into battle. But honestly, you know what this feels like? This feels like you being confrontational or someone being confrontational just by standing their ground or just by walking their own path. And now, as you see here, I'm, uh, you see how I'm holding these? The Hermit and the Knight of Swords are going in the same direction. But here, the Hermit and the Knight of Cups are going in opposite directions, and the Hermit came out with the, with the Knight of Cups. So, okay, with that said, I would caution you guys against being too aggressive or too confrontational. Obviously, if someone stepped into you with some mess, I would uh, absolutely say you have every right to defend yourself, but I wouldn't take it too far because it doesn't feel like it's really that worth it because ultimately they're going to get their ass handed to them regardless, regardless, because you ultimately, Pisces, 
or the cross watcher, whoever this resonates for, you have no involvement here. Like this really isn't your problem or whatever the circumstances around you for the most part with all of this seven of cups, I'm not saying there's none of it that, that you're, you're not somewhat responsible for, but look at all these different cups around this person. This person can't obviously be responsible for all of this shit. Now, on the other hand, Pisces, if you're the person that's been going around fucking with people, then yes, you could very well be responsible for all this. But for who, 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 for whomever I am channeling for right now, on the most part, for the most part, you recognize that all of this is not your fault. So don't allow others to tell you or make you believe it's all your fault. And I don't think you are. You're ready to defend yourself, but I would just caution against being too aggressive here. Knight of Swords is coupled with uh, the Four of Cups. I just get an energy. It's like someone's going to miss out on something and then they're going to try to blame someone else in which it's not the other person's fault, responsibility, or problem. The energy that I'm getting from this Four of Cups is you did this to yourself. So don't come at me with some bullshit. You did this to yourself. This could be you, Pisces. This could be the Cross Watcher. All right, take it as it resonates. Again, <laughs> I keep saying that, but I feel, I feel like it's necessary. Okay. This is intense. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Pisces. First set of surrounding energies. You've got the Seven of Pentacles. The energy of you reap what you've sown. Learning through the contrast. This is a serious checkpoint for someone. If you're connecting with someone on a romantic level, something happened recently where you were just, kind of, someone was just kind of like, whoa, whoa, stop the presses. Like, whoa, somebody pushed the pause button. I need to check in. Like, we need a checkpoint. Like, are we even on the same page here? Because I thought we were going in one direction and now it seems like we're going in a completely different direction. The devil. Someone's lying to someone here or someone's not being completely truthful, wasn't completely truthful in the beginning. And that could be why it's almost it was it feels almost it almost feels like a bait and switch situation. And yet it's not quite bait and switch because whomever it was that was not quite honest in the beginning I don't think they had the foresight to say, all right, let me say this to this person now just to get them on board and then I'll just change it later. It wasn't that calculated. At least that's what I'm feeling. But still, they got caught in their own shit because they didn't have the foresight to think about it ahead of time or to look forward and say, hmm, how could this potentially affect me moving forward? And now we're at a position where it's like, whoa, hold up, buddy. Who do you think I am? Do you really think I'm that stupid? That's what I'm getting from this Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Wands. Hold up. Where are we actually going? The Three of Wands is an energy of being on the right path, waiting for your ships to come in, um, waiting for a return on your investment. The Three of Wands is about making a decision and now following through with that decision to meet your goal. The Three of Wands lately has been talking about your actual path in my position or in my uh, opinion um, and has been talking about you basically being on the right path. But here with the Seven of Pentacles coupled with that, this is literally a checkpoint where it's saying, well, whoa, stop everything. Where the hell are we going? Because I didn't think this is what the direction we chose. Like, it's, it's even a situation in which someone is kind of saying, all right, well, look, it's not that big of a deal. Like, if we're going in a different direction, that's fine. I don't mind, but just let me know. Like, yeah, don't bait and switch me. Don't tell me one thing, and then all of a sudden we're going in somewhere completely different. Like, no, that's not what I agreed to initially. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. Death. Transformation. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm not sure I want to be going in this direction with you. See, now in the past, Pisces, you might have been that person to just be like, oh, we're going this way now. Okay. Not anymore. The hermit and death. They are facing each other. Not anymore. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Death is coupled with. Yes, the Eight of Pentacles. This is saying two things. One, a transformation has come about because somebody has really done some serious work and is now, yeah, has done some serious work with the Hermit and is now standing pretty in their own independence, Nine of Pentacles. Someone has done the work to bring forward some sort of transformation. Now, well, also, well, the other thing I'm getting is that someone has done some work here and that it, it, it has catalyzed some sort of transformation. And now someone else in association with this, rest, with this situation could be doing their own work for their own sense of betterment. There could be a shift here that is influencing someone to be more proactive, whether it's in the relationship or in the situation. That's beautiful, Pisces. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here. Ha <laughs> ha, the Ten of Swords. But I just heard the challenge here is letting this be complete. Or, in other words, allowing the situation to complete, to come to completion. Like letting it be done. Someone here may have trouble putting it to rest. And that could be because of your past in association with this situation. Like that could be what this devil energy is coupled with the fool. Like you want to take a leap of faith and go in a different direction, direction, but the devil is still on your shoulder or your ego is still in play here saying, well, what about the past? What about this? What about, what about that? And you just can't let that go. And what happens if it re happens again? And blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. The challenge here is to just let it complete itself, which means removing yourself from the situation, handling your own part of the responsibility, but then removing yourself from the situation and letting the energy settle, like letting the rest of the parties do their own work. And if they're not going to do their work or if they don't want to do their work, that is on them, Pisces. You can't do a damn thing about that, okay? So stop interjecting. Ten of, Pent Ten of Swords, I'm sorry. Yes, I do want to say Ten of Pentacles also, and I'll explain in a second, but Ten of Swords. Let, the, let bygones be bygones. Let the past be the past. Let the situation handle itself. Now, the reason why I wanted to say the Ten of Pentacles is because, in my opinion, the Ten of Pentacles represents the completion of a physical lesson that you came here to learn. Lessons learned. Um, the Ten of Pentacles does represent time. Um, so in my, in my opinion, as I've been, begun to see it, the Ten of Pentacles represents learning the lesson and allowing that to complete itself so that you can get on to the next lesson in life. So in this case, you have in fact learned the, the lesson, Pisces, but your challenge in this second half of your reading here is to allow bygones to be bygones and just move forward. Allow this situation to work itself out. Do your work. Handle your part in the situation in which I do see, for the most part, you've done that here. But now, let the rest work itself out. Ten of Swords is coupled with the Empress. You have to believe in the abundance of the universe. You have to have faith in the abundance of the universe, Pisces. There is, where there is death, where there is death, there is rebirth with the Empress. And the Empress energy is that fertile motherly energy that brings things to gestation, to fruition, brings things to term. So you have to allow the universe to handle this now. The universe is infinitely abundant and infinitely fertile. You could never even imagine how Archangel Michael 
from a three-dimensional conscious point of view, you could not even fathom, begin to fathom the amount of abundance that the universe has to bring things back to life. And I'm not saying that they're necessarily going to bring this back to life in the way that it used to be. Obviously, you have the Ten of Swords, but you have to allow the universe to do its thing and recycle the energy and allow the new birth to come about, okay? But you also have to believe in the abundance. Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Pisces. You've got the Eight of Wands. You see, that came right back out. Somebody here has got a clear passageway forward. Quite clear. And that's because you've done your work, Pisces or Crosswatcher, whoever, to take it as it resonates. But somebody here has a clear passage forward. This could be communication too, but what I'm really feeling here is clear movement. Eight of Wands is coupled with strength. Leo energy, you could have Leo in your chart, could be dealing with a Leo, doesn't necessarily matter. Strength is holding your own, taming the beast. As long as, as you stay within a healthy form of restraint, and this does not represent um, silencing yourself, it, this represents understanding yourself, holding yourself steady, and moving forward, okay? All right, Pisces. So now let's get into your Oracle card and see what you got for this month or for this message. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One last shuffle, Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Best message, please, spirit, for this reading. Close out this reading here. Aha! Yes, Pisces. Card number 29, which does boil down to an 11. Seeing the true you. All right. Ooh, fairly short. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Seeing the true you. Sometimes we believe what others tell us we are, as though the self we see reflected back to us through, uh, through their eyes is truth. Yet the ac accuracy of a reflection depends on the clarity of that which is doing the reflecting. If the receiver forms any opinion about what is perceived, then what is reflected back on us will, at best, be distorted. It is not necessarily through ill will. It is just the mechanics of the situation. Even the moon reflects the sun in varying degrees of fullness and clarity. We can learn something, by, uh, uh, we can learn something of the nature of sun from the moon, but not as much through direct perception. This oracle has come to you because you have been putting rather too much faith in the reflections others have of you, to the point that you might not be honoring all that you are and all that you are becoming because you believe too little of yourself. There may be those around you that are able to reflect you more faithfully and even help you see more of your own greatness and beauty. They're, these are the souls blessed with inner stillness. In the clear waters of their ocean of consciousness, you can come to recognize yourself with clearer perception. However, there are those who have not tended to their own ocean and are unable to be still enough to genuinely receive and reflect your light back to you. There is no judgment here. Each takes the path of self-healing that is available and appropriate at any given time. However, to attempt to see the magnificence of a sun in a very partial moon doesn't make too much sense. If you are blessed with those in your life who can show you the beauty within you, wonderful. Even so, this oracle comes to you with a task you are now ready for. You are to begin to develop the art of direct perception. This is the ability to recognize yourself, not only in the eyes of others, but from how you feel about yourself, how you experience yourself, and how you observe yourself with compassion and kindness from within. This is a step towards a radical empowerment that does not require perfection in order for you to recognize you are lovable and have much to offer. It is empowerment based on the acceptance of all that you are, working with your strengths, tending to your weaknesses, and being loving, encouraging, and nurturing of all that you perceive. As you continue on this journey, you will not only see your human self, but the eternal within you. This is a breathtaking experience that opens you up to the creative energy that flows abundantly through all of life. 
It is an experience that takes great preparation because we must be strong within our own self-love and acceptance to be able to hold acceptance for all of life. This oracle is nudging you into that perception, for when you have the experience of truly beholding yourself, all judgment, fear, and doubt will fall away and you will just know yourself to be sacred. Then you will be asked to embrace the deeper journey of sacred rebellion against judgment and fear and into passionate creativity and unconditional trust in life. This oracle comes with a special message for you. If you are getting confused about who you are and your motives or actions based on what others are saying or how they are responding to you, step back. In your quest to be a responsible person, you may be unintentionally taking on the feelings of others, making their reflections of you more than they are in truth. More often than not, reflections are about the state of reflect, uh, excuse me. More often than not, reflections are more about the state of the reflector than what is being reflected. Let those external perceptions go. Can you just acknowledge yourself? Do so and be free. Well, there you have it, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a great June, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of July. Yes? Take care. Mwah! Bye!